me again. It's been a while. Kind of left you guys for a minute there. It's been like three weeks. I don't know what happened. I, I have no excuses. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry for the kettle and the fan. I hope you guys can hear me. But I'm back. Hello friends, I'm back. And today I'm gonna give you a life update. First of all, where have I been? Absolutely nowhere. I've just been having this weird creative burnout where like I, I just didn't feel like filming. I would get ready. I would put my camera up, I put my ring light up, and I would try to film, and I just got so overwhelmed and frustrated, and like, and I just felt so weird for the past couple of weeks. I think it's the retrograde. I couldn't film. I couldn't. I tried. I, I did drive with me. I did a sit down and talk. I did a paint and sip. I did so much, and just nothing, nothing went right. So I just said, fuck it, and I took a solid week of not even trying, and now I'm back. Oh, the water's done. We're making breakfast today. I'm just gonna give you guys life updates because I feel like a lot has happened since we've had a little chat. So we're gonna catch up and I'm gonna make some breakfast. Uh, I hope you ate because it's breakfast for one today. <laughs> I'm also gonna make an iced uh, Earl Grey. So I'm just gonna put the oil and water with the Earl Grey. And then after I'm going to add some like creamer, some syrup and some ice and it's gonna be delicious. Okay, what are we making? What's on the menu today? We're making some hash brown, bacon, egg, and toast with brie cheese, and a little honey drizzle, sorry, a little hot honey drizzle on top. I've been eating good lately, I won't lie. I've gained some weight. Of all the things I wanna catch you guys up on, I feel like we're like actual, we are actual friends, and like we're going to like brunch right now. You know when you go to brunch with a friend you haven't seen in forever, and like there's just so much to say, you don't even know where to start? That's how I feel, except like, it's really not that interesting. <laughs> it's just like little life updates, you know? So let's chat. Okay, first of all, I'm in a much better place now. Thank God. I, I was sad and I was frustrated and I was all the things and then I just wasn't. It was cool. I guess that's healing for you when you work on yourself and you actively do things to improve your mental state and take care of yourself, it works. I've just been able to think a lot clearer now. Like, you guys saw me when I was like my saddest and that wasn't fun. A retrograde happened and things just got a lot better, thank God. I like to put salt, pepper, and chili flakes on my hash brown. And then I put it in the oven. The oven. It helps a lot that like I've been in therapy, which has been great. And I actually wanna do like a whole dedicated video to like therapy and how it's kinda of, like helped me out. I'm doing psychotherapy, which is a treatment created by Sigmund Freud that pretty much accesses your subconscious mind and figures out like how to heal yourself really through your subconscious. It, it, under, it helps you understand like your triggers, your brain, everything in general. It just really helps you get a deeper understanding of yourself. I've also been journaling a lot. I've been back to my spiritual routine, so I'm so happy about that because I fell off for a while there and I was really upset with myself. Anyways, so I guess we'll address the elephant in the room. Some of you may know, some of you may not, but the reason why I was so down, in the feels, depressed for like, honestly, only a few weeks, um, was because I went through a breakup. The depression was not as bad as last year. Last year, I was a hot ass mess. <laughs> I was sad as shit. I was, I was not okay. This year, I was sad, oops. This year I was sad for a few weeks, and the first week was terrible. Sad, 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 crying every five minutes. <laughs> then like second week I was crying every 30 minutes. Third week every hour, fourth week, couple times a day. I don't even know, since then I just, I've been okay. I would say it took me about a month and a half to feel like myself again. The first month was mixture of sadness, confusion, anger. Even if let's say the relationship is toxic, bad, happy, good, amazing, whatever, you're gonna feel like something missing because they're a part of your everyday life and suddenly like your routines are all different and then you have to kind of redefine everything you do, which is a really cool process if I'm being honest because it kind of helped me like come back to myself. I feel like I allowed myself to lose myself in that relationship and nothing to do with the other person. It was everything to do with me. Like I just lost myself. Ooh. And that wasn't okay. And I feel like I'm really coming back to myself and like reconnecting with my inner child and who I truly am. And it's been great. Like 
I I don't know. I just feel really myself. I feel really in my body. I feel really just like happy, but also not fully happy. Um, and the unhappiness, I don't know where it comes from yet, but I do know like one thing that's really changed in this time has been that I've just like grown this really deep self-love, which has been like amazing. And I don't know, like it just makes me feel really good and really relieved to be feeling that again. And not even again, like the self-love I have right now, I've never really reached this level before. I don't know, like I'm just like really falling in love with who I am, my personality, my energy, my aura, and like my essence in general. And I feel really good about that. Yeah, it just feels new to me because I don't think I've ever felt this way about myself before. So I'm really happy about that. And I think that of course breakups trigger a lot of those things because you're forced to focus on yourself again. Oh my god, the bacon. Oh, I'm getting deep in conversation. Hold on. Where are the tongs? Oh, they have freaking salmonella all over them. <laughs> Ow! Oh my god, when the oven is on, it heats up the whole stove top and that spatula is burning. Oh my god, the bacon. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, the other day I had a little test, like a, not an actual test, but it just felt like an environment that was testing my self-love and I passed. So I'll tell you about that. It was such a weird experience. Okay, so flipping the hash brown. Let's do a little story time. There was this pool party. This pool party was in this mansion in Toronto. Beautiful, beautiful home. I'll show you guys some snaps. And pretty much, well, first of all, off topic, the pool was heated. It was like a hot tub, but it was, oh, it was so nice. Cause there was no sun, so it was dark out. So I got in the pool. And you know when you get in the pool and there's like a little shock cause the water. I got in the pool and I was like, ah, it was like getting in a bath. It was so nice. But anyway, so I go to this pool party and this pool party is full of a bunch of girls that I have nothing in common with. It was filled with like, nothing wrong with this vibe. It's just not my crowd. Like stripper type of girls and girls with like lots of face filler and like, just imagine like all those girls in LA. That's the type of vibe I entered, which no shade to them, pretty girls and all that, but it's just not my crowd. I, t I typically get along with like a lot of types of people. But anyway, we'll talk about why it wasn't my crowd. I was open-minded. I expected to have a really good time, whatever, and I did. I get to the pool party and like all the girls are just sitting there and we enter and we're like, the last one's there. And like they're doing one of these, like they're talking to people and then they look over and they're like, bitch, I was like, what? Did you just size me up, make eye contact with me and not even say hello? Like, do you have no manners? <laughs> I was so confused. I just like, where are your manners? So then I like said hi to everybody, I smiled and they're like, it was so strange. So all, already the energy was off. The guys were nice, but it was just kind of like, mm, not my people. Then there's like this pool floaty thing and the girls are on it. There's so much room on it. So I'm like, oh my God, do you mind if we join? Because at that point I was kind of tipsy and I was being a little friendlier because I was trying to open up dialogue. You know, I didn't really care about the floaty. I just wanted to like bond because that's me thinking the best of others. And they were like, yeah, we were actually just getting off. And then they just like left as if we were infected, my friend and I. They were not getting off. They just didn't want to hang out with us. So they said, yeah, we're just getting off. And then they all left. Like it was like a high school. Younger me, unevolved me, pre self love me would have gotten so insecure and super in my head about that and super like, oh, I just want to like, you know, show them who I am and like bond and like, I need to like act cooler, you know, like a while ago, I would have felt like I needed to like match their energy and act a little cooler and like try and get along with everybody. But like 2021 me was like, more room for us. You don't want my energy. You don't want my kindness. That's okay. I'm going to be nice. Take it or leave it. I'm going to be myself. Before I would have tried harder. I would have taken another shot so I could like loosen up a bit. This time I was like, honestly, <laughs> This is me, take it or leave it. I will not mold myself to fit into what you want. I'm not gonna try and be cool. I'm not gonna try and be anything. And I was just so comfortable in myself. And I was like, hmm, this feels kind of good. I haven't really felt this. Also, I haven't been to like social outings since forever. I'm vaccinated by the way. Um, so that was a whole new thing. It just felt good. Like it felt good because I'm telling you like, I wasn't like this. And what's crazy is sometimes you don't feel all the work you put into yourself. Like sometimes 
Oh, my bread, I have to toast it again. So, I'm like all over the place, sorry. The stove is off, then my egg, the egg that's cooking, the stove. The stove is off. What's wrong with me? When did I do that? Why didn't you tell me that the stove was off? What the fuck? Anyways, okay, so like what I want to say is like sometimes when you're like going through a whole spiritual journey, you really get hard on yourself because you feel like nothing's happening. Like you're doing all these routines and you're meditating and you're this and you're that, and you're like, I feel the damn same. But it's not until like real life situations test you and you start to realize, wait, I have evolved, I have changed. Because I didn't know that this was how I would feel in this environment. Leading up to it, I was a little nervous because I just like don't, I don't realize how I have evolved, right? But then I realized, wow, all the work I put into myself is doing something. It's paying off, you know? And that felt good. It makes me want to work harder on myself. Aside from the whole self-love, I love myself, blah, 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 thing, like that party was weird as fuck. Like, it was fun. It was great. I looked good. The swimming was fun. Like, we all had fun. But the vibes were so strange because the men had so much money and they were just dropping money like no tomorrow on food, on alcohol, on this, that, and the third, on the women. And the women are all just there like, you know, just like looking hot and like the shots just kept coming of was, was, uh, Casamigo. I didn't have a second to breathe. Like they just kept coming around because they had so much alcohol. But it was fun. And yeah, it was a cool vibe. To tomorrow they're throwing a boat party, so. I don't know if I'm gonna go because it's not really my scene, but I'm feeling like maybe I should because I haven't been out like this in three years, right? Ooh, the egg looks nice. Ooh, that's a perfect egg, bitch. I did that. Okay, this looks weird, but I'm gonna show you. It's free cheese on toast. The way that I slathered it on is terrible, but it tastes delicious. And then I have hot honey. I'm gonna drizzle that on and put chili flakes on it. It's so good. Okay, so. Another thing I want to talk about is anger. Anger. Oh my god, guys. Like, I'm going to be real with you. I've been dealing with some anger. I think that right now I'm dealing with this whole process of forgiveness and forgiving others, forgiving myself for the ways in which people have wronged me. And it's really hard. I want to do a whole video on it, on like forgiving someone who isn't sorry. Because sometimes people don't know that they need to be sorry. And sometimes people do, and you just never get the apology. You know, like, it's always different. The egg is done. But either way, like, if you're not getting the apology that you feel like you deserve, it's hard. Because, like, I, like what are you supposed to just do? Sit in your anger? The bacon's done. Woohoo! Guys, we're getting somewhere. We're almost done the breakfast. And it's hard. It's hard to be angry and just allow the anger to sit within you because then you're just kind of stuck with it. And if you decide to allow yourself to be stuck, you're kind of, you know, what's that saying? You're, you're drinking poison and expecting the other person to die or something. That, I think, is what's kind of eating away. That's why I say, like, I'm not fully happy because I think that's eating away at my happiness right now. Just being angry because I'm not an angry person. So when I have anger in me, it's not, it's just, it doesn't feel right. Like, I don't, I can't just be at peace with that. Like, I just, I like, feel just, just mad as shit. I'm going to show you guys my breakfast. We're going to take a little bite or two and then I'm going to go eat it while watching Friends. So this is the brie cheese. Ooh, I forgot the chili flakes. So we have here, we have some brie cheese with a hot honey drizzle and chili flakes on top. Then we got the over medium egg. There's an egg yolk, it's a little bit cooked. We got some salt and pepper, some chili flakes, and then we got some bacon on the side and a hash brown. Crisp and cooked to perfection. I don't know where the accent came from. I don't know. We got our little brekkie brek, and we're gonna dig in. Let's try the toast first. Mm. Where's the crunch? Mmm, brie cheese. I love brie cheese. Oh, I wanted to give you a spirituality update. Like, so like I said, I've been pretty on top of my routine lately, but I've definitely like struggled with it a bit in the past few months. I had like a, a good three, four weeks where I wasn't really doing anything. Wasn't meditating, wasn't stretching wasn't journaling, wasn't reflecting, wasn't doing anything. No affirmations, no gratitude list, nothing. And I think it's a big reason why I felt so sad. Because I wasn't taking care of myself. Now that I am again, I feel good. I wanted to do those things for myself because I knew it would help, but I also just felt so off. I didn't want to. I didn't have the desire to actually get up and do it. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna 
enjoy the rest of this breakfast. Watch some friends, maybe listen to a podcast. I don't know yet. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, let me show you the Earl Grey tea before I go. So I normally put like a pump of lavender syrup in it. Not even a full pump, like half the pump. It's pretty sweet, because this is sweet too. Then I put some creamer. Okay. A little drip drop of soy oat milk to kind of balance it out so it's not so sweet. Then I mix it all together. And I add ice. So it's like a lavender Earl Grey latte. Yeah, that's my latte. You guys should definitely try it. It's super good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've missed you guys. Oh yeah, you missed me too? Aw. I'm happy we got to catch up in the comments below. Please tell me something new about your life. Let me know what's going on. Anything new, you talking to any new guys? Or girls, or days. Got a new job? Someone pissing you off? Let's chat. Okay, I'm going for real now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.